Today we're going to learn how to uh, create um, Sin City style comic book photos just like this one here based on real photos. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is you want to try to use a large type image which uh, helps for adding the effects later. Um, so the first thing we want to do is go to image adjustments and then desaturate and then image adjustments and levels. Now you can play around with the levels here just so we can get like a black type looking photo. The levels I used are 127, 1 1.62 and 132. So I'm just going to hit OK there. Now the next thing you want to do is add a filter, artistic filter, which is the cutout one. And now the settings I used here is two for levels, three for edge simplicity, and two for fidelity. Now you can sort of play around with that depending on what sort of picture you're using and how good the effect works. Okay, now if you want to add a go, first thing you want to do is uh, flip the image. So if we go image, rotate, flip horizontal, because we want it to go the other way, then you just do the same sort of thing. Uh, image adjustments, desaturate, image adjustments, levels. And the levels I use here are 127, 0.31, and 152. I'm just going to hit OK now. We just want to use our one, and then we just click around it, and then go select inverse. Uh, press Control C, then click back on our picture here. Press Control V, and now it's probably not going to be in a position where you want, so you can just go into edit, and then edit, transform rotate and you just sort of rotate on the angle that you want it and then apply transformation or tick up here and so that gives us our gun we'll just rename that gun okay now we can see that it still looks a bit gray there so I'm just gonna adjust the levels just a little bit more just so this looks a bit more white Okay, so now what we want to do next is create a new layer. Um, and we'll just call it Rain One, and then we just want to fill that layer with our 50% gray here, and use the paint bucket tool. And then we want to go into Filter, Noise, Add Noise, and you want to have the amount 400% distribution Gaussian and monochromatic ticked. And then we want to go into Filter, Blur, Motion Blur and have it at angle 90 degrees and distance 999 and hit OK. Now you can see that the lines haven't gone all the way through so if you keep hitting Control F to reapply the filter uh, the lines will eventually kind of go through. Now what we want to do next is go into Edit, Transform and Skew and we just want to skew that move each corner depending on which direction you want your rain to be falling from. So just move that like that. Then give that a tick. And then go into blending option and we'll select vivid light. What you want to do next is go into um, image adjustments and levels again. And then we just want to set that up. There. Settings I used uh, 0.3 and probably use 152. And just hit OK there. Now, what we want to do next is the same thing. So we go into create a new layer and call it Rain 2. And then fill that with gray again. And then go to filter noise, add noise, 400, goes in monochromatic, hit OK, and then go into filter, motion blur, and then 90 degrees, 999 pixels, and then just keep pressing Control F until all those lines join up, and then edit, transform, skew. This time we just want to skew it just a little bit, 
not as much as the last time and then give that a tick then blending mode you want to select vivid light again and then we want to adjust the levels again and use the same settings which was 0.3 152 okay now what we want to do next is create a new layer um, so and we'll call it black and this will be to um, make the background a little bit better now we just press D to reset the colors and then we're gonna use our paintbrush tool here on the large size and we're just gonna fill the background just like so and the rain and now we obviously covered up some of the hair so what we want to do is create a layer mask click on that click on the box of the layer mask and then use the gradient tool and select down so that brings the rain back puts a little bit of a background there and then we move that layer underneath the two rain layers and then what the last thing to do is add dialogue to the picture so I'm just gonna click back up here and then go into layer new layer and we'll call it dialogue G U E okay and then we want to use the elliptical marquee tool to just draw like a little mark ellipsis and then use the polygon lasso tool whilst holding shift click 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 and that gives us that then we want to go into edit fill actually yeah edit fill and then background color because the background color is white so we hit ok then go into edit fill use the foreground not to fill edit stroke color black now I'm using 10 pixels because this is quite a large picture you might only have to use one or two depends and we just hit OK and that gives us that now then you obviously just type in the text that you want so I'm going to type love to help dot dot com is great. Click off that and there you have it. So I hope these tutorials helped you out and uh, look out for more free tutorials on our website at lovetohelp.com. Thank you, goodbye and good luck.